Hi. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Osvaldo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? How was your day today? Uh, very good. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Nelson. Nelson, can you hear me? Nelson, Nelson. All right. Okay. Um, Tanya texted me. She said that she's going to be late because she's going from work to her house. Okay. So she's going to be in later. Ah, uh, hola, hola, Nelson, ¿me escucha? Ay, ay, ahorita sí. Excellent, all right, very good. ¿Primera vez que se que entra a la, a la clase? Sí, fíjese que no me ha podido conectar hasta ahora. Ah, ok, perfecto, don't worry about it. My name is Jessica Cerritos, ok, and I'm going to be your teacher. Okay. My name is Nelson. Excellent, Nelson, thank you. Nice to meet you, Nelson. Nice to meet you, too. Excellent. All right, guys. So um, yesterday we were talking a little bit about the alphabet. We were talking about how do you spell your names. And we've been talking about, you know, questions as what is your name, what is your last name and everything. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the verb be. Okay, so we're going to review it because you know it already. So we're going to review it. Just give me one second because I need to get the presentation I have for you. Okay, here we go. Hi, uh, my name is Nelson Marquez. Uh, right. um, yes, Nelson. How do you, how, how, how do you spell? Mm -hmm. Is G O S E. All right, very good. Okay, nice. Thank you, Nelson. All right, so guys, we're going to begin talking about the verb be or the verb to be, and we're just going to review it because I know I'm sure you guys remember this. Okay, so we have the verb to be. Remember that when we say verb be, there are only three. Um, is, are. There's no more, okay? When you say um, I am, you are, he is, you are conjugating it, okay? But there are only three like forms of the verb be. Um, is, and are. That's it. No more. Okay? So you say, I am, you are, which is singular. Okay? He is, she is, they are, we are, it is, you are, plural. Okay? So if you look, if you notice, guys, we have two. One is for singular, and the other one is for plural. Okay? So I say, for example, I'm talking to Rodrigo and I say, Rodrigo, you are my friend, only one friend. But I have Osvaldo, I have Nelson, and I have Rodrigo in my class. And I say, you are my students, okay? And I have the S, that's why it's plural, because I have three students or four students when we have Tanya in class, okay? So one you are is singular, and the other one is plural, but it's the same, okay? You understand that, guys? Yeah? Yeah? All right, very good. Yeah. Re yeah, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so remember that when you're talking about you, it's always I am, okay? I am Jessica. I am 20 years old. I am from Chalatenango. I, I don't know. I am tired. I am happy. All right, I'm talking about me here. When I said about you is you are, all right? Then he is Osvaldo. He is from, a, I don't know, he's from Sonsonate, all right? He is um, 29 years old, all right? So I give information about him. Then I talk about she, and I say she is Tanya or she is Alexandra. All right, so I talk about a she, a girl, okay? So be careful with he. Is for boys and she is for girls. Then I talk about they. I said they are my friends, okay? And I always conjugate it with are. And I say we, everybody, we are students, all right? Or we are friends. It is, I can say it is a cell phone, all right? Because it's only one cell phone. Or I can say it is a dog, 
because it's only one dog. But if I have two cell phones, then I say they are. Okay? No importa que sean animales o u objetos, pero si son más de uno, pasan a ser they. Okay? They are. If it's only one, it's okay. It is. All right? I say, um, it is um, a pen. Okay? Because I only have one. But if I, if I have two, then I say they are pens. Okay? All right? Then we have uh, you are, again, but that's for plural. You are my friends or you are my teachers, and I have two teachers, or three teachers, or four teachers. Do you understand? Yeah? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So remember that every time you talk about I, you have to conjugate it with am. Um. He, she, and it, you have to conjugate it with is. And uh, you, they and we with are okay always eso no va a cambiar nunca okay very good so here's an example guys you say you are my friend because it's only one but i have many friends you are my friends lo que nos denota el plural es el friends al final porque tiene una s el you are es igual si se fija el you are para singular you are para plural is the same all right, lo que hace que se vuelva plural es el final de lo que estamos, uh, en este caso, diciendo, de lo que ustedes son o lo que son en plural. All right, so you are my child, only one child, or you are my children, because I have three. Yeah? Okay? Very good. Then we have, okay, so here we have eh, Osvaldo, can you read? Everything, please, you say, I, I am, am. Eh, Osvaldo, like that, please. Uh, I am. Mm -hmm. okay, and, I, uh, and the short form? Uh, I am. Am, all right, I am, am. am. Very good, okay, am. for you? Uh, you are? Mm -hmm. You're. Excellent, very good. He. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. Very good. For she. She is. She is. Very good, yes. It is. It. Very good. All right, Nelson, can you continue, please? We. We are. Where? We're. All right, we're, we're. yeah. Uh -huh. we're. You are. Uh, you. Very good. If they are. Uh, there. There. Very good. Okay. Si se recuerda Osvaldo y Rodrigo, no sé si Rodrigo se día con nosotros. Eh, Tania nos preguntaba esa vez que estábamos viendo los adjetivos posesivos con el his y el his. ¿Verdad? Aquí estamos viendo exacto el, el ejemplo acá cuando usamos el he is y lo, contra, lo hacemos contractado. The pronunciation becomes his. But we're saying he is Rodrigo. ¿Verdad? We're not saying his Rodrigo. We're saying he is Rodrigo. Lo que pasa es que lo unimos y suena igual. All right, pero tenemos que saber cuándo es el verbo be contractado y cuándo es el his de possessive adjective. Okay, so it's very different. Okay, usually in English we use the short forms. Okay, so we use I'm um, Jessica, you're my friend, he's Osvaldo, she's Tania, it's a pen, we're friends, you're my um, teachers they're happy all right so in english usually when we speak we use the short form okay i am jessica we say i'm jessica yeah or we say his i uh, we don't say he is charlie we say his charlie okay so that's why sometimes english is a little bit difficult because they speak fast Porque usan mucho los short forms, okay? Do you have any questions? No questions? No. Okay, no. very good. Excellent. Okay, so here um, right so now... One, one question. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, al momento de escribir, no importa. Siempre es entendible. ¿El qué, Rodrigo? Short form o long form. Sí, depende. So, eh, depende. Digamos, si usted está escribiendo algo como muy formal... Váyase por la long form. 
Okay. All right. But if you're texting your friend or you're sending a message that is not very formal, short form. you can use short form. But usually oh, okay. when we speak, we speak with short form. That's good. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. now, thank you, Rodrigo. Very good. So here, these guys are affirmative sentences. Okay. Like how to make affirmative sentences. So I say, I am a, your teacher. I am uh, 40 years old. He is my husband, all right? So I use affirmative sentences and I use the subject plus the verb be and then the complement. Now here, guys, if you notice, we have this chart. The first one is I am, those are the affirmative sentences. In negative, we say I am not, all right? And when I ask a question, I have to switch it. And I say, am I, am I your teacher, all right? I say, you are a Rodrigo, you aren't Carlos. Are you Rodrigo? All right, so I'm asking a question. All right, so in questions, we switch it. Okay, so we need to remember that. En español, a veces las preguntas no suenan como muy preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero no damos como ni la entonación, ni la estructura gramatical correcta. All right, but in English, usted no realmente es una pregunta diciendo, you are Rodrigo. O sea, yeah, but not really, right? You say, are you Rodrigo? All right, so you have to switch it, okay? Lo mismo con los demás. He is for affirmative. He isn't, all right? Or is he for question? Uh, Rodrigo, can you continue from she is? Affirmative, negative, and question, Rodrigo, please. She is. Mm -hmm. She eats. She, she isn't. Is. She isn't. She isn't. Uh huh. Okay. It. It is. Is. It is. Isn't. It isn't. Uh huh. It isn't. It is. Is it? No. Is it? All right. Is it? Uh huh. Very good. We are. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We are. We are. Uh -huh. We aren't. Are we? Are we? Very good. Yes. You are, mm -hmm. you are, you aren't, are you? Excellent. And the last one, Rodrigo? They are, they aren't, are they? Are they, very good, okay? So if you notice, every time you want to say no, you say not, okay? That's when we make it negative. In Spanish, we say no, but in English, we say not with a T, all right? When you say, for example, I am not your, I don't know, I am not your mother. I am not. I don't say I am no your mother. I'm, I say I am not your mother. Yeah, I have to say not with a T at the end. Or I say, the isn't or he isn't my brother. All right? So we have to make emphasis on the not. Yeah, when we talk, these are negative sentences. No son respuestas aún, solo son oraciones negativas, ¿verdad? Okay, so we use not, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? Osvaldo, questions or you understand okay? Okay, Osvaldo, okay, very good. Nelson, okay, and Rodrigo, you okay with it? Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, let's continue here. Okay, so here again is the same thing. So lo que lo agrupamos. I siempre va a jugar con am. Nunca con is, nunca con are. I am. He, she, it with is. Never with are, never with am. Okay? And you with they is always going to be with are. Okay? Negative and the same thing for question. Now, something that sometimes is a little bit complicated for us when we're learning English is that in Spanish, the verb be has two meanings in Spanish, but in English is only one, okay? So for example, in English you say, I am Jessica, I am, I am sick, all right? So yo soy Jessica y yo estoy enferma. In Spanish we have two uses or two meanings. But in English, it's the same. It's only one. You say, I am Jessica, I am sick. Yeah? 
you if you know if you look at this chart you have you are eres or estás uh, he is es o está all right so we have those two meanings in in english i mean in spanish but it's only one use in english okay so sometimes it's a little bit difficult to understand okay same thing for the questions and the same thing for the negatives, okay? You say, yo no soy, no soy o no estoy. I am not home, all right? Or I am not your teacher. No estoy en casa, no soy su maestra. Very different in Spanish, but in English is the same, okay? All right, okay. Now, I want you to read this. Nelson, can you read this, please? Usages of the verb be. Um, the first. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, I am. Um, I say, am. Uh -huh. Solo, solo lealo, Nelson. Ahorita solo. Oh, just read it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I am four, four years old. Mm -hmm. uh, description of people she is tall they are tall mm -hmm. description of place sushi toto is hot okay the feeling feeling william is sad mm -hmm. happy angry mm -hmm. Con condition they are single they are married just in <coughs> i am teacher mm -hmm. she is doctor yes in national in we are Canadian. Excellent. Thank you. Nationalities, we are Canadian. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. So what this is saying right now, these guys is cuando y como usamos el verbo be. Okay. Lo usamos para describir age, para decir la edad, descriptions of people, all right, or places, descriptions of people or places, feelings, conditions, jobs and professions and nationalities okay when we use the verb be we do not use the verb be with another verb i cannot say i am play no you can't all right you say i am happy i am a teacher i am salvadorian but i don't say he is it no, porque él no es come. All right, so you have to be careful. El verbo viva solo es el único verbo y va acompañado de adjetivos o va acompañado de cualquier otro sustantivo o cualquier otra forma de, o parte de nuestras oraciones, excepto otro verbo. All right, so we cannot combine she is, um, she's dance. No, she's dance, no. You can say she's dancing. Yes, present continuous, but she is happy, all right? We, we give a description of the feeling of the person, okay? So, ojo con eso, porque a veces nos tendemos a confundir. Okay, this is what we're going to do right now, guys. Lo voy a dejar trabajando ahorita ustedes tres. I want you to make sentences, okay? Van a ser one sentence per um, category. So one sentence for H, one sentence for description of per, a person or people, one, this, one sentence of descriptions of place, all right, puede ser cualquier lugar, feelings, all right, conditions, eh, jobs and professions and nationality. So at the end, you're going to have seven sentences, okay? Cada quien obviamente va a pensar en una, pero trate de irse ayudando con su compañero. Así está bien. Estoy haciéndolo bien. Oí lo que tengo. I, I am 40 or I am 25 years old. Si puso I is 25 years old, usted lo corrige. Dice, no, es I am. Trate de jugar con todos los verbos, eh, perdón, con todos los sujetos. No solo I, 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 I. You can say he, she, we, they. All right. O puede omitir el sujeto y usar el nombre. Entonces, en lugar de decir, he is um, my friend, you can say, Nelson is my friend. ¿Verdad? Que omita el pronombre, no, que no cambia nada con mi regla. ¿Ok? So, yo voy a estar aquí, me voy a, voy a poner la pantallita con el logo. 
pero yo los estoy escuchando, ¿all right? Quiero oírlos a, 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 haciendo sus oraciones una por cada eh, uso del verbo be, ¿ok? You understand? Vayan escribiéndolas ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, si puede, bueno, sí, eh, vayan escribiéndolos cada quien aparte y vayan como comentando. Ya tengo la primera, oíla, ¿all right? Yeah, so let's do that, guys, ¿ok? Voy a dejar de compartir esto. ¿O la quieren, quieren tenerlo ahí para que se recuerde? Yes. Yes, yes. Very good. Ok. So, yo me quedo por aquí, calladita. Es una oración por, por I am, you are, we are, they are. He is, she is, he is, ¿verdad? No por cada uno de los. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> In my, my first sentence is, he is my brother. He is my brother. It's okay. Yes. Number one, I am Rodrigo. Is the, I am. Okay. My my first sentence uh, is I am forty one years old. Okay. My sentence uses a uh, pronoun I is I am engineer. Okay. So that's okay. Uh, you are, you are the police. Is a you are. Okay. Use uh, where the sentence, okay. use she a e she is a doctor. He is a doctor. That's okay. She is a doctor. He, and it is her new car. Okay. Today we are we are a student. The English corporation. <laughs> She is living in Ciudad Delgado. Sorry, let's not repeat. Again, she, she is living in Ciudad Delgado. Oh, it's okay. Or oh, is she is from? No, from she is living. She is living. She is from is the country. Okay. Compañeros, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, classroom. Here? No, classmates. 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 Class. Class. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are classmates. Uh, they are. He is my friend. Is that he is my friend? Uh, they are my team play, he, and you are my friend. You are my friend? Is uh, is that you are Latuya? Yes. Oh, it's okay. Yes. She is a teacher. Is la. She is a teacher. No. He is watching TV. Okay. Ah, con otro verbo no podemos, ¿se acuerda? Ah, 
It is a cell phone, a smartphone. It is, it is a smartphone. Yes. Smart phone. It's okay with. Alguno le falta el del cuna. Yes, uh, you said we uh, we are we are uh, we are uh, boys, <laughs> men. <Yes. laughs> you are a man. You are a you are man. Men's. men's. We are men's. Okay. Um, I do. She is. Is he they? Nelson, you are okay? Eh, yeah. me falta una. De cuál? Eh, it. It. It is. It, it is. It is. Um. The cosas. Uh huh. It's okay. Table. It is a. Table. It's a, table. Oh. It's a computer. Oh, okay. Thank you. iPad. Cell phone. Where? It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Finish. Yes, it's sure. Finish. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see. So, um, Osvaldo, give me your sentence about feelings. All right. Tell me one sentence that you wrote about feelings. Did you write anything as well about feelings? Feelings. Uh -huh. Ah, the uh -huh. I, I am. I am good. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, you're good. All right, very good. Rodrigo, give me a sentence about a job or a profession. She's a uh, police. Okay. She's a police officer. Okay. Or she's just the police. All right. Very good. Uh, Nelson, give me a sentence about nationality. Um, I am from El Salvador. Uh -huh. I am from El Salvador, right? Or you can say I am Salvadorian. Very good. Nice. All right. Uh, Rodrigo, give me one sentence of description of people. And he's a boy. Okay, okay. He's a boy, and you can say he's a tall boy. All right, or tall he's a boy, big he's boy. A all right, big boy. Yeah, very it's nice. A beautiful girl. Yes, very good, nice. All right, Osvaldo, okay. give me one with H. H. Uh huh. H. The first one, for example, you say, I am 41 years old, or my baby is five years old, or I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. He is, he is uh, 10 years old. He's 10 years old. Very good. Okay, very nice, guys. Thank you so much for your sentences, okay? Let's continue here. Okay, acuérdense que ahorita creo que todas las oraciones que acaban de hacer, todas eran afirmativas, ¿verdad? He is, uh, she's a police officer and all that. They are affirmative sentences and they are okay. So we're going to continue here. Uh, we're not going to do that. Okay, so I want to show you something here. Give me a second, please. I'm going to stop sharing this right now for a second. Okay. Just give me one quick moment. Okay, I'm going to show you this right now, guys. And I want you to pay attention. Igual lo van a trabajar los tres. All right. In this exercise, hay errores. Okay. Everything has to be only the verb be. Okay. 
No okay. puede ir con más nada, just the verb be. Ok, so, se la voy a dejar aquí. Por ejemplo, number one dice, Mr. Paddington are from Perú. No, right? Mr. Paddington is from Perú. Ok. Eh, vaya viendo, vayan viendo ahí. Hay unas que puede hacer que no tengan error. All right, las dejan como tal. Si hay error, corrijan el error. Vayan viéndolo los tres, ok. okay. All right, vayan leyendo. Por ejemplo, Osvaldo lee la tres, Rodrigo number four, Nelson number five. Y van viendo ahí la, la mistake, si en caso hubiese mistake. Ok, okay guys, um, so you may start. Ok, sentes. Sentence number three. I am go to work at seven o'clock every morning. It's okay. It's correct. Just It's okay. Yes. Mm, number four. My okay. brother and I and I and my brother and I am both very boosted bus today. My brother. BC. BC, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, that's okay. My brother. I. And. Uh, and. It's incorrect. I can do. Uh, use R. Because it's. We. My brother. And. I guess. Yes. And I. Mm, I am mm. is not correct. Um, so yeah, my, my brother are. Yo creo que my brother and I am. No, ah, porque aquí estás poniendo dos. No, no, no. So. Sería yo, yo, y, yo? Yo, ah, yo y mi hermano. Sería, ah, ah. sería I y my brother. Um, bot, ¿qué significa bot? Busy. No, bot. What number, bot. guys? Which number? Four. And number four. Number four. My brother and I, both. Ah, both. Eh, ambos. Ambos. Uh, um, my mm -hmm. brother. Very. Eh, yo sustituiría el padre. am por el ar. Por ar. Ajá. Ar is... No, yo creo que... Es que... No, es que los sujetos es? somos nosotros. O sea, mi hermano y yo somos nosotros. My brother y and we. me. Es que my brother and... ¿Pero dónde está? Es que no, o sea, no sé si... Ah, no sé si allá es... está bien. No, bueno, no sé. Yo lo entiendo como que... Te decís my brother and me. Both very ah. busy today, pero supone, I am, como que diciendo, ah, pero, just... pero ahí le podemos eliminar el am, ajá, porque le podemos, le, ponemos, ajá, le podemos poner my brother y yo, eh, sería are, we uh -huh. are, o sea, sería we are, but very busy today. No, oh, tenemos que o oh, tenemos que especificar que es mi hermano. Porque si solo ponemos we are, solo sería nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí, pero como nosotros pasamos como muy ocupados todo el día, todo, todo el día. El día. My brother, es que no sé si, no sé si, sí. Ajá, ¿le dio problema a esa? <risa> sí. Ok, veámosla. My brother and I. Acuérdense que ustedes pueden reemplazar los nombres, en este caso, por pronombres. My brother se convierte en he, ¿cierto? Yeah. Y estamos hablando de I, pero como entonces yo estoy incluida, entonces digo, my brother and I nos convertimos en quiénes? Nosotros. En we. nosotros. Nosotros. We. We lo conjugamos con. Are, Exacto. Are, Entonces decimos, my are. brother and I are both very busy today. Ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces It's ahí clear. el truco, my, digamos, my, es que el... My el, brother. Ajá. My brother and I are. Ahí lo que am. 
ah, quitamos el am y ponemos el are. Lo are. que confunde es que tenemos uh -huh. el I. Sabemos que el I solo lo vamos a conjugar con am. Pero como estoy haciendo, siendo acompañada por mi hermano y yo estoy incluida, nos volvemos we. All right? Yes. Entonces ahí conjugo con are, no con am. My brother and my brother in my brother in I are but very busy. Are very busy, yes. Are very busy, yeah. Okay. Is Miss number five? Mm -hmm. Is Mr. John is and Park? Mr. Jones is the park. Creo que eh, por, por ser pregunta, solo sería is Mr. Your, is, is Mr. Jones at the park? Eliminamos el, el is. Pero que cuando es pregunta, eh, cambia, va Solo al inicio. Uh -huh. Sí, por eso, is. is, is, is ah, es eliminamos is. el segundo is. Correcto. Ah, sí, sí, creo que sí es. Eh. Excellent, guys. Very good, yes. Is Mr. Jones at the park? ¿Verdad? We eliminate the second is. Very good. Very good. Where are uh, the books no. on the floor? Wow. Where why I the book in the floor? Books, okay. Book, books. And books are como libros. We are the books on the floor. ¿Por qué, el, ¿Por qué los libros están en el piso? Pero los libros son una cosa, aunque son plural, pero no tendremos que utilizar is. Sí. Is. ¿Está hecho para esto? No. Los sí. libros, sí, porque estamos hablando de bastantes libros, no solo de uno. It's no, we are. No, quitamos. Uh, they... Podría ser correcta también. No, porque tenés que poner el inicio del R, porque pregunto. Why, why are. Creo que no hemos llegado a eso, pero ese es un. Es un WH question. Yes. Ajá, entonces cuando tenemos, ex, ex, lo, lo es muy cierto, aún no hemos llegado a ese tipo de preguntas, pero en ese tipo de preguntas anteponemos eh, en las WH questions, o sea, why, when, who, which, al verbo be. Entonces, en ese caso está bien, ¿verdad? Porque decimos, why, ¿por qué están los libros en el suelo? Why are the books on the floor? Aunque sea un objeto, el libro es un objeto, pero como hay varios, se vuelve plural, ¿verdad? Entonces está bien ah, okay. cuando usamos are. Si fuese solo uno, dijéramos why is the book on the floor? ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, very good. Today, do they, do you, do they but work at the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Ahí le podemos quitar el, el dúo. Du por ar. Du. El dúo y le ponemos we. Ah, no, perdón. No. Are. They are. Are they? Are they. they are. are they. No, es is a question. Y in this, in this case, ver to be the first. That's right. Are, are they? Excellent. They good. are. Are they? Are they? Are they, are but they? Work at the supermarket? Yeah. The eight. Yeah. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 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 Eight centers. Where the post? The post. Office is uh, where, is, where, where is the post office? Where where is the post office? 
no sería is primero. Rodrigo? Is where the postbox. Where... No, because use W questions. That's right. Very good. El WH question siempre va. We are the W uh -huh, question, uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. We are the post of office is no. No, is no. Where, is. Where, 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 where is. is very good. Where is where is uh, number nine? Are you no are are you know are you the answer to the question it's correct it's, it's correct very good ah correct. wait 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 are you are know the answer no no it's not correct it's correct uh -uh. no it's correct are you no, no. Uh, it's no are you no no es saber Estamos diciendo, ¿sabes la respuesta? Tú sabes la, tú sabes la respuesta. A la pregunta, pero en ese caso, no ah. es el verbo principal. Y acuérdense que el verbo be no lo podemos conjugar con ningún otro verbo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, obviamente no hemos visto el presente simple todavía, pero diríamos, do you know the answer to the question? El do. Okay. Do you know? Uh -huh. Do you know no. the answer to the question? That's right, yes. I don't know. No le faltaría are you? el auxiliar do. Ajá, exacto, ah. porque sería presente simple. Ya me trae. <laughs> no se preocupe, ahorita todavía, obviamente todavía, sí vamos a ver el presente simple en este curso, pero todavía falta. En este caso, esa pregunta está ahí, cola, se, se metió por ahí, ¿verdad? Pero no se preocupe con esa todavía. Ok. okay. And then, I don't know the answer to the, to the last question. I don't know the answer to the last question. Yo no sé la respuesta de la última pregunta. Ah, no, yo no sé. Ajá. Yo no sé la respuesta de la última pregunta. It's correct. It is correct. Very good. Okay. The students at the library. Library. Library, yes. Library. Uh, the students at the uh, the students. They are. Is, they are the students. Uh, uh, the students ah, no, are, no, no, no. are in the library. The students are. Uh huh. Los at, at the library. Library. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ¿Cómo quedaría esa? The, the students uh -huh. are. are uh-huh. At, uh, at the library. In, uh, at the library. Yes. At the library, yes. I am happy today because today a uh, holiday. I am happy today because today a holiday. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. I am happy. You so feliz. Yo soy feliz. Este día, porque ahora porque es feriado. este día es feriado. Creo que está bien. I am happy today because today is holiday. No es feriado, pero y tampoco estoy muy feliz, pero la oración está correcta. What color your new car is? What is your color to new new cars? Yeah. No, o sea, what is? What is, what is color, color your new car? Yeah. No, el is lo pasamos para después de what. Después de what. Yes. What is, what is what color is your, your new, new car? car. Uh -huh. Carol likes. Carol likes the new Italian restaurant. Ah. Carol le gusta 
El nuevo restaurante. Ese es presente continuo, creo. Es el tiene presente el verbo. simple, exacto, porque tiene el verbo likes. Ajá. En ese caso no necesitamos un verbo be. Ok. Por no. lo tanto, it's ok. Ok. Very nice. Generally, generally is the first month on the year. On the year. It's ok. Febrero es el primer mes. Enero. Enero, puto. Enero es el primer mes. Es el primer mes del año. En el año. ¿Qué está bien? Sí. Are they? Is the moon? Cheater. Um, up the movie teacher. El, el is creo que se elimina. Are Are, are they, they at movie? Theater. 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 Mm -hmm. theater. Are they the movie theater? Yes. A ver, is. A ver, Ay, como es pregunta, va al inicio algo. Yes. Are they at the movie chile? Very good. All right, finished? Finished. Yes. All right, let's see. What about number three? Creo que esa fue la que me dio uh, curiosidad. Number three, is it okay or not? I go to work at seven o'clock every morning. I am Joe. Joe. Number three, it's okay. Number three, it's okay. Are you sure? Nelson, yes. Okay? Yes, I go to I go to the work at seven every morning. Yes, okay. Mm, okay. Mm. Well, it's not. <laughs> okay. Us guys, go is a verb. And I cannot have the verb be with go. Okay. I am to work at 7 o'clock every morning. Uh -huh. Le quito, le, o voy a omitir el am. Les voy a decir, I go to I work. Go. Exactly. I go, I go to, to work. work at 7 o'clock every morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, las demás están a mí. <laughs> All right, very good. Sí, de repente a veces decimos, ah, el verbo be is very easy. All right. Pero de repente lo vemos ya así, decimos, mm, maybe it's not so easy. All right. Y es nada más estar como lo mismo, ¿verdad? Practicándolo para entenderlo bien. Obviamente aquí estamos, eh, la idea es como hacernos eh, caer en el truco, ¿verdad? Que están usando otros verbos y eso para que usted lo, lo haga pensar dos veces, ¿ok? Pero eh, en este igual, en este curso, we're going, to, we're going to simple present. Pero va ahorita ya ustedes van viendo más o menos, ah, y recordando, ¿verdad? El simple present lleva el auxiliar do, me dijeron por ahí, escuché, ¿verdad? Y, o de repente, igual la otra semana, me, si no estoy mal, vamos a empezar con el ing, con el verbo, el presente continuo. Ahí sí usamos el verbo be más el ing del verbo, ¿verdad? Pero si solo como tal está en esta, en la número 3, I am go, eso no se puede, ¿verdad? Entonces, si está un verbo principal, quítele el am, ¿verdad? Para que tenga sentido. Si no, usted lo que dice, yo estoy, voy. Porque el go ni siquiera está siendo conjugado, ¿verdad? Entonces, quítele el estoy o el soy y dejamos yo voy al trabajo, ¿right? Ok. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit like sometimes it's a little bit confusing. ¿Qué le, qué, ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? So, so? Yo me confundí cuando veía, por ejemplo, we o estaba como where y uh -huh. como estaba como acostumbrado a ver el Dale. tema de allá, you are, we are, they are, he uh -huh. is. Okay. Y he entendido el tema de cuando ella pregunta, cambio, por ejemplo, claro. I am, are you, yeah. we are, we. Uh -huh. Ahí fue donde me fue otra vez. Sí, igual vamos a ver durante el curso, vamos a ver las yes, no questions, que de hecho nos tocaría el lunes e, y martes del verbo be. Cuando yo le digo, are you happy? Y su única respuesta va a ser, yes, I am, or no, I am not. ¿Verdad? O le digo, is she your brother? I mean, is she, sorry, is she your sister? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Esas son un tipo de preguntas que su respuesta es cerrada, o es sí o es no. Luego están las otras preguntas 
que usamos el WH question, porque, por ejemplo, yo le digo, eh, why are you late? Y a usted me tiene que dar una respuesta del por qué está tarde, o en in, in inglés, right? Why are you late? Oh, I am late because of traffic. Ya me da una razón por la que usted eh, está tarde, all right? So, entonces, esas cosas se van a ir viendo en la otra semana. Entonces, sí es básico, pero tampoco es tan básico de repente, ¿verdad? O lo que pasa es que eh, nos, nos, se nos ha olvidado y lo tenemos guardadito por ahí porque en algún momento en la vida ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como desempolvarnos y volver a, a ponernos como en modo de re, reiniciar el cassette para poderlo recordar porque ya lo hemos visto, esto ya lo hemos visto lo que pasa es que de repente es como ya lo ponemos así y ya como que empe empiezan a salir las dificultades y las dudas pero it's ok as long as you practice it's going to be ok alright, ok guys ya casi nos vamos a ir, yo tengo la otra clase después de la de ustedes Solo recordarle que obviamente hoy es jueves, mañana no hay clases, las clases son de lunes a jueves, solo recordándoles eso, así que mañana tienen free, ¿verdad? No vayan okay. a salir, porque de todas maneras no podemos ni salir. Okay. Este, okay. Igual aproveche, yo sé que ustedes trabajan y todo, aprovechen el fin de semana para seguir trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? La idea es... La idea es que, no sé, eh, si nosotros terminamos la sección 1, Acá conmigo en las, en las clases, entonces usted también, aparte, haya terminado la sección 1 para el domingo, ¿verdad? Para que el lunes que empecemos la sección 2, usted esté al día, que no debe nada, ¿verdad? Porque al final, acuérdese que después de la sección 3 hay un examen, entonces son hacer la sección más el examen, entonces de repente a veces se vuelve como ¡Ah! muchas cosas juntas, aparte del trabajo, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces trate de ir terminando conmigo la sección que vamos finalizando. All right, very good guys. Uh, do you have any questions? Or are we okay? No problem. Me va a compartir la presentación en, en, en Ah, en sí, sí, sí. Le voy a le voy a compartir la voy a compartir la de la que estuvimos usando ayer, ¿verdad? Para que la tengan ahí más eh, Nelson, usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. No, no eso le iba a decir. Ah, vaya. Eh, fíjense que se, a, ustedes se autoagregan en el correo de, que le mandaron de inglés corporativo donde le mandaban el link para que se uniera a la clase. Ahí mismo está el link para, del grupo de WhatsApp. Solo dele clic en el link y usted se va a unir automáticamente. Oye, ah, okay. para que eh, ya una vez yo mande las presentaciones, usted las pueda recibir. De hecho, no he mandado ninguna hasta ahorita. Entonces... Eh, trate de hacerlo ahora para que yo más tarde ya cuando vea que usted se unió, los pueda mandar para que ya tenga acceso a ellos más porque como usted no estuvo ni lunes, ni martes ni miércoles, sí. ¿verdad? Para que usted pueda tener esas cosas a la mano Oye bueno. Ok, guys, so thank you very much for being with me. We finished the first week La verdad que se va rápido, ¿verdad? Three more weeks and we finished, ¿ok? So thank you so much I'll see you next Bye, Very guys. Have a nice sure. weekend. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.